All right, all right, all right, folks, settle in, because we're about to talk about something pretty cool today. We've seen single board computers, or SBCs, from all over the globe, right? China, US, Europe, but now we're seeing a new player enter the chat. This time, it's from India. Yes, you heard that right. Vicharak, a startup out of Surat, founded back in 2021 by Akshar Vastarpara, has decided to throw their hat in the ring with their very own single board computer. And they're calling it the Axon. So let's get down to business. What's under the hood? Let's start with the hardware, because let's be honest, that's where all the magic happens. This thing is packing a Rockchip RK3588S. This is an 8-core monster SOC built on an 8 nanometer process, which is pretty impressive. Now, it's not just any 8-core setup, it's a combination of 4 performance cores and 4 efficiency cores. Yeah, kind of like what Intel does, aiming for a good mix of power and battery. And for graphics? They've slapped in an ARM Mali Gain 610 MP4 GPU. This means smooth 4K streaming, seamless 8K encoding and decoding. This is awesome for your media consumption. But wait, there's more. You can actually play some AAA titles on this bad boy, that's what they are claiming at least, we'll see. But hold on, that's not all, because they've also included a high-performance NPU, a neural processing unit, capable of 6 TOPS. We are talking some serious AI workload, TensorFlow, PyTorch, MXNet, it's ready for it all. Now, let's talk about RAM. The Axon supports up to 32 gigabytes, but for now, there are two main variants. You have your basic version, with 8 gigabytes of 64-bit LPDDR4X RAM, clocked at 2,112 megahertz, and 32 gigabytes of eMMC 5.1 storage. And then the Pro version comes along with 16 gigabytes of the same RAM, but it is clocked at the same speed, and it has 64 gigabytes of eMMC 5.1. Now, if that is not enough for you, you can go all the way up to 32 gigabytes of LPDDR5 RAM and 128 gigabytes of eMMC storage if you want to, but that's optional. And if you need even more storage, you can throw in an NVMe M.2 drive, a SATA drive, or a simple SD card up to 32 gigabytes. Connectivity-wise, Bitcharak is not holding back. It includes an integrated AMPAC AP6275 PPCIE module, meaning Bluetooth 5.1, dual band Wi-Fi 6. Plus, they've added a 2,500 megabits per second Ethernet port. So you're not going to be bottlenecked there. On the display side of things, the Axon supports 4K at 120 FPS or 8K at 60 FPS, and it can handle up to four displays with various configurations, all thanks to its high-performance society. Okay, now for the ports. This thing is loaded up like crazy. We've got one HDMI 2.1 port, two MIPI-DSI ports for some weird displays, a mic input, a 3.5 millimeters audio jack, one USB 3.0 port with one amp output, three USB 2.0 ports, two of which are connected to a 20 pin header, we will talk about that later, a USB type C port with display 1.4 output at 8K 30 FPS and two amp output, and last but not least, a 20 pin GPIO header for connecting HATs and all sorts of fun stuff. And what about software, I hear you ask? Well, it supports OSs like Ubuntu, Armbian, Android, and frankly, with those specs, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be able to run pretty much anything you want to throw at it. Now look, here is the sad part for now. Unfortunately, I do not have a review unit at the moment because, well, I am poor as fuck. So I can't give you my opinion on it and show you all its performance, but if I can get my hands on one, you bet I will make a detailed review video for you guys. So please, hit that subscribe button so you don't miss my future review of the Axon when it happens. That's all for now, folks.